Hello everyone, welcome in my channel Windows Form. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of a library management system. In this uh, project, uh, or you can say in this video, I am going to show you uh, how to issue the books actually. So let's to check uh, the steps which is uh, uh, created by me or you can say which is doing by me. So uh, here we have a data grid uh, when uh, search any the book name or the ISPN number the data grid uh, will uh, uh, fill with the some data according to the book title and the book category after that select the book from the data grid uh, which is which uh, the student want to issue the book so when we click on any row uh, from the data grid then fill the data into the uh, text boxes okay so here we have a uh, result grid dot row e dot row index dot cells and the cells the column name in the cells dot value okay so uh, this is the simple thing you can repeat it uh, for the multiple times for the title quantity category only the cell columns will changed okay so here we have not need to the authors only the title category quantity and ISBN is needed so just copy that and paste it here and only the cell value have to change okay now the next step is the variable value pass into the text boxes if you want to add the author name in the data grid so must to add the author name in the book uh, table but the book table doesn't uh, take that uh, author name or you can say you can check that is the none value oops the author is not exist in that uh, table or uh, you can say uh, uh, not exist in the database table you here we have ID ISP and number title category and the quantity so just remove from the uh, form design and only handle that data like that book title quantity category ISPN number and the enrollment number only okay now after that just pass that value like the title quantity category and ISPN into the text boxes so similar these things a title text or text and uh, title dot to string now the second thing is quantity so qty text dot text equals to quantity dot to string so uh, this is the simple tutorial to issue the book uh, in the library management system if you want to design uh, uh, that library system for the multiple user and then uh, student can issue the book uh, or you can say request the issue book um, to the admin and admin will check the request and if the request is uh, uh, under process or you can say if admin want to issue the book to the students then give the permissions to issue the book by the students okay so here you can check category dot text category dot to string ISPN text or text now the form one change with the current uh, currently running form that is search issue form now you can check it book uh, category is ASP.net yeah is there now when we click on the uh, data grid cell value you have to see 
the old text boxes will fill with some data like the book title asp.net mvc available quantity is one and book category is asp.net and the isbn number is asp.net 1011 okay now after that you can design the issue uh, issue table in the database okay so you have to do this now the issue table so in the issue table we have some data like the um, like isbn number enrollment number and issue and the written and issue and the written is uh, taking two type uh, taking uh, boolean type value okay in isbn number that is the where max and uh, enrollment number is where max also or you can set uh, where uh, 50 where care 50 with the 50 uh, characters and the return and the issue is taking bit values okay so simple thing design here worker and id is set to identity property that is automatically incremented by the one so is identity is identity is false so set to true now after that in the library management system you can set the written and the issue book written is bit value and also issue is the bit value now you can check the model so update model in the model.edmx file so just right click on it update model from database and insert a new table that is issue book and uh, now your issue table will add it into the edmx file now guys uh, wait for the next video tutorial of library management system uh, after that we can handling the actions of the issue book and written book so thank you for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to library management system for better learning. Thank you very much.